Hey, it's David Farmer, and today we're talking funnel visualization. This is a feature inside of Google Analytics that allows you to visualize conversion funnels that we can set up in Google Analytics. Now, this is absolutely fantastic to be able to see the results of the expected actions you'd want a customer to take from a digital marketing campaign. So in this example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our VDP retargeting ads in how we're able to drive customers back to your dealership's website, utilizing dynamic UTM codes to identify what customers click one of those ads and then ultimately visit your dealership's website. And then from that point, if they go through a conversion funnel or a conversion action, we'll be able to see exactly how a customer is gonna interact with those. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump into our demo website so you can see exactly how this entire process works. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into um, our demo website and I'm gonna look at uh, uh, some some of our, our retargeting ad units. Now we have different types of retargeting ads um, from our VDP retargeting ads to our SRP retargeting ads. Now the cool thing about SRP retargeting ads is it is going to track customers that make it to a search results page and then we're gonna use the content of what the customer has searched on those pages to tailor the content uh, inside the ads. So for example, if we have a customer that has researched Corollas or Camrys on your site in an SRP, we're gonna uh, include those Corollas or Camrys inside these ad units as well. Another thing that we do with our SRP retargeting is we feature our $25 test drive offer system. Now, this means any customers that do not convert to a lead, meaning that they're unconverted customers, we're gonna present these ads to those customers as they visit uh, many different websites out, in the, uh, uh, out on the Google uh, display network, which includes over 2 million different uh, possibilities for us to place ads in your, uh, in your programmed market area. And once we have that opportunity, we serve up the ad. And then once a customer clicks on this ad, we're gonna be able to bring them back to your dealership website and we're gonna bring them to a search results page. From that search results page, we can drive the customer into uh, making a selection, ultimately coming to a vehicle detail page, and then engaging with some uh, conversion technology. Now that conversion technology can be something as simple as a website lead form, um, maybe an unlock price, uh, or contact us, or it could be even advanced conversion technology such as our suite of express uh, conversion tools such as Shopper Express, uh, allowing a customer to uh, complete their entire purchase online or research their entire purchase online and then uh, ultimately have that opportunity to visit the dealership showroom uh, or request a delivery uh, of the vehicle at home. But this conversion technology does allow us to track what that customer does uh, throughout your, in, your entire uh, dealership's website. So for example, in this scenario, what we'd be looking for is somebody being able to see an ad from a retargeting uh, ad unit, click on that, ultimately come back into the dealership's website, uh, website and land on a search results page go into a vehicle display uh, display page and then engage with a conversion technology and ultimately convert into a lead. Okay, so that's the path that we're looking for is UTM code for the retargeting ad, landing on a search results page, selecting a vehicle de a detail page, and then converting uh, to a lead through um, a conversion uh, technology. So how can we track that inside of Google Analytics? A great way to do that is by creating a goal and then adding a funnel visualization to that goal so we can see exactly how that works. Now, this is some advanced features, but it's very easy to set up once you understand how Google Analytics um, uh, 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 allows for this type of tracking. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into our demo site uh, that you see right here. From here, I'm going to go into admin down the bottom left-hand corner. And then in the view that I'm currently in, I'm going to go to goals. And now with goals, you can set up 10 or 20 different goals per view. So depending on how many you go, how many goals you have uh, a setup right here, if you ha already have 20, you're not going to be able to add any additional ones. But what you can do is you can create a new view. Very simple to do, and we'll cover that in a later video. But in this case, I only have three set up, so I, I have plenty available. And I'm just going to go in and click uh, a new goal. So for our type of goal that we're going to be creating, it's going to be a custom goal. Um, so there are lots of different types of goals uh, you can create. You can utilize the template that Google Analytics already provides. But in this case, we are going to use a custom goal. I hit continue, and I'm going to name this goal a VDP lead conversion, and I'll even call this uh, convert, I'll abbreviate that, uh, Shopper Express. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll, we'll call this um, build deal because that's uh, uh, the button that we can utilize. Now from this, um, I can select the slot that I want the goal to uh, 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 to to reside in inside of Google, Google Analytics. Like I said, you only have 20 different goals, so you do have the ability to select the slot that you want that goal to, uh, to go in. I'm just going to keep it where it's at, which is going to be goal ID number four. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, how we're going to track that is going to be based on a destination, meaning a, a specific page on your dealership's website. And this is where a customer is going to ultimately uh, land on after lead, uh, the lead conversion process is completed. There's other types of uh, uh, goals that you could create, whether it's how long a customer might stay on your website, how many pages they might visit on your site, uh, etc. In this case, it's going to be a destination goal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit go to the next step, which is going to bring us to the goal details. Now, for the goal details, uh, there are different ways that we can um, we can capture that page. Uh, we can do it with equals uh, equals. So you're going to have the the full page URL in that screen begins with, which is going to be the first part of a uh, a website. Or in this case, we can use also what's what's considered a regular expression. Uh, so it's basically a reg X, um, reg X, which is uh, an abbreviation for regular expression. And this is basically just a, a snippet of the text that is in that URL. Uh, so in this case, we know that um, it is uh, in in the entice system that last page, that certificate that we share. Uh, is going to have redemption in the URL. So that's all we have to type in here is redemption. Now you can assign a dollar value. This would make sense if you were selling an item uh, that was the same price. You could uh, select that. In our case, we really don't have a value to. We're going to leave that off. And then this is the part that's going to create that vi that funnel visualization. So from here, we turn this on, and now we're going to be able to create the, um, the funnel that we want a customer to take. So again, we're going to want to go from that, um, that uh, 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 SRP retargeting ad unit, and then we're going to go all the way down into uh, the VDP. Uh, so in this case, uh, we're going to just name this um, a UTM code. Because uh, that's going to be the first step when the customer uh, the customer lands, and actually I could even name it landing page. So UTM code, a uh, landing page. Now inside our led dynamic UTM codes that we create uh, with uh, with our ad units, um, that is going to include the word uh, display. So that, that might be something that's going to be unique for us to be able to. 
uh, capture that landing page. Uh, so we, we can, uh, and if you are building this out for yourself, you just want to look for something that's in that URL that is going to be unique to allow Google Analytics to capture that. So in this case, we're going to grab display. We can add another step. In this case, we're going to go from an SRP to a VDP. So we're going to go VD, VDP. Um, and we can, uh, from this place, uh, we would have the ability to add that. Uh, and in our case, we know that new is going to uh, be inside that URL. So we got this set up for uh, the landing page for an SRP, uh, the VDP, and that is it. Now, if I had this set up, I could hit verify this goal, and you could see in this case right here that 17.9% uh, Four percent conversion rate would happen based on the data in the last seven days. Now with Google Analytics, we know that we're not going to start tracking data until we actually have this goal set and it is capturing data. But they do give us the ability to look back to make sure that this is set up properly. So if you're building out a funnel uh, and you want to be able to see the customer going through those additional steps, um, if those pages have already existed on your site and you want to see if customers have already gone through that process, you can do it by uh, clicking that verify uh, just like I did right there. And then from there, I can click save. So now we have VDP lead conversion uh, build deal as a uh, as a goal, including that funnel visualization. So now, how can we actually see that on a go forward basis? Uh, so if I go back to my home screen on Google Analytics, I can go under uh, conversions. I can open up goals, and then here's where we're going to see the funnel visualization. So if I select that right there, now we're going to have a we're, we're, we're going to have some different goals uh, already set up. Like you saw in, in my setup, I think I had three or four. Uh, so I want to make sure that I'm selecting the proper goal here. So in this case, goal number four, uh, VDP uh, lead uh, conversion build deal. I select that. And then right here is going to be that, uh, that funnel that we've built. So we have the UTM code as the landing page. We have the VDP uh, as the customer would land on. And then ultimately, did that customer go through the lead conversion process and convert to a lead, which would have generated a lead into your, your dealership CRM. Now, you can make these steps basically as long as you want. Uh, you can start with any page. You know, maybe you want to just see how many customers go from your home page to a SRP, ultimately to a VDP, and then convert to a lead, maybe from a trade value technology, maybe from a scheduled test drive technology. You're able to uh, pick and choose however you want to see that data. And for any of the enticed dealers, we have embedded a uh, analytics code into our uh, into the technology uh, that we install on your dealership's website, which would give you access to cross-domain lead conversion data. So you'd be able to see it right from your site into the entice lead conversion technology. So you can tie that all together, just like we showed you right here. So I tell you, we uh, covered some really cool things today uh, within Google Analytics. Um, we know that advertising is one of the biggest expenses that a car dealership has. And because of that, you're going to want to make sure that it is successful. The activities that we want customers to take on your dealership website, most of the time is going to involve lead conversion. Uh, and we're going to want to be able to track that against what uh, ads you have out there. So a way to do that is to use goals and to create a funnel visualization so you can actually see customers going through that funnel, maybe see where they're dropping off, maybe they're getting to the VDP uh, and they're not making that conversion. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do uh, to optimize your site 
for lead conversion, optimize your marketing to attract the right customers. Uh, but this is a way to do it, utilizing something that is built into Google Analytics. As always, we really appreciate your time in watching these videos. If you feel like you got some value out of it, I'd love to ask you to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It's one of the big things that helps uh, YouTube uh, make sure that we have content that is valuable to our users and they'll reward us for that by making sure that we're put into search results. So we'd appreciate that. As always, again, we really appreciate your time. You'll find this video and many others on entice.com.